Nice. So yeah, I guess that image. I have raised you to be. I, you should t- take my example. And when people are uh, people are assholes, you can make asshole back. Because it upsets the Lilos too, and like they let their kids play out all. You gather before me, hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. (laughs) Yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the God's whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain.
This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Barbarians. I have my eye on you, Nordling. Well, a good one's uh... born knows a merchant who traveled to Nilfgaard once. <laughs> Something moved. Hey! Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty. This hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived. Walked right in like for his own. Was standing at the window, peering at the goings on. He was dead. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper lend it to me gran i'll give it back come morn it's right baffled for what's he doing frying in the dark but i've got a soft heart so i gave it to him interesting what happened then afore dawn another rode up to the hut but come morn only the first fella left, locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose, but I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. 
Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Priceless frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Documents. Nothing. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. Monocle. Interesting. Found the pan, have ye? His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. Found the pan, have ye? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Fry up a nice white fish for Ah! 
That's it, Roach. Giddy up. That's it, Roach. That's it, Roach. Heard of the Vryhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. None. And Medetta, Estrat as a Novigrad. You're strange, oh. but a good fella, nonetheless. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Novigrad. Poor, dark, and putrid. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Stop! Why did he tell me to stop? Discipline is that is what you call black for. Oops, we must This bard's tale begins near White Orchard. If my dear friend Geralt of Rivia see We must requisition the share of your harvest. Aye, oh, Your Excellency. I know that. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak, peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him.
plan to requisition something from him too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. Who are you? Speak! Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun jagten. Es verfeiert. Es schäden ja verfeiert. Es I'm gonna go make food.
I'll be back in just a second. I'm just making food really quick. Heard of the fly head today? You're fine, sir. Non human. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Novigrad. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. So long.
anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trail's fresh. His love just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog... A kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in... St Too late. Attacked another one. Not your lucky day. <laughs> Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Why? But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse. The that... Lord's son, Florian, and I. We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Ah, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. 
Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. A camp. Old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Either griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age.
Thick shaft, dense barbs. You're so beautiful. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Oh. The Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. You want some nudies? Thank you for being so gentle. Preparing for combat. Blah, 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 blah. Can I not examine this anymore? Oh, I saw an examine. Where did it go? Uh -huh. Burned. Only a human could do this. Oopsie! What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a dead man. Beautiful. Okay, is that everything? Ooh, that'll kill me till I'm dead. I'm stuck on a tree. What is screaming at me? I missed. I missed. Don't sting me. I'm sorry. me come at me bro Ooh. maybe you scare me a little bit that kind of hurt that's a dead horse beautiful mm. well, I made a level up this little fight stuff though more wolf over here? Probably. Oh, there's a few, actually. Oh, that's a guard dog. Yeah, don't kill him. Fuck you. I will kill you. You want to start with me? Are you wolves? More than likely, yes. Beautiful. How did y'all miss me? I was right next y'all. Killing your friends. Mm -hmm. But okay, you do you, that's a deer.
I don't want any surprises. Goat. I'm going to eat the goat. Shep. Does Lila want to be a sheepdog? She's ignoring me. collect all the things. I have nothing. People are lighting fireworks off. It's not supposed to be happening this late at night. So, if you hear barking, it is because people are lighting fireworks off, and she does not like fireworks. Like, at all. What did I miss? Hello? Ah, little plant guy. Then this moosh. It's so cute. Hey. 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 Here's one. Scaring the sheep, scaring the sheep. I got stuck on a sheep. Go back home, Mr. Sheep. Okay. 
There's some piggies. I know you're kind of oh. also lovely to this, but um, it's mine now. <laughs> I got to also remember to eat. I cannot jump. Griffin don't fly in the rain. Oh, ouch! That you know of. Ah, how much is it? I promise I will actually do questing. I just need the ship because I don't have the ship. What the fuck? I would do it. She what? I'm on the guards with her? Oh, I don't know. She called him weirdo. Thunderstorms are starting. Beautiful. Oh, it's gonna be a long night. Lilo, are we gonna get any sleep tonight? Or are you gonna be the upsetty spaghetti all night long? around her house. all of your herbs. You can grow more. Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. 
for instance, that beggar takes poisonous? In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars... something, something. Ah, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First they'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Well, shit. Do we save the lady or let her die? Either way, it's not a good in outcome, no matter what. But do we attempt or do we just let her die? Like, I'll go kill Drowners anyway. We need Drowner Brain, Saladin, and Dwarven Spirit, which... Ah. Oh, Jesus. I am not mistaken. Oopsie. We do indeed have. Yep. So, that do be the question. Do we save her? Or well, try to save her? 
or let her die. Like I said, outcome is shit either way, but do we attempt? I just know from experience that either way, it does not work out. <laughs> Ew. That was aggressive. Hi, Goofies. Is that boat just floating by itself? Hello? Oh no, there's a guy in there. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Should talk to Vesemir. I'm not done though. want to find drowners, I can never find them. But when I don't want to find them, that's all I find. Oh! I spoke too soon! Hello, big boy. Where are you running to? <gasps> My fire did not want to fire! Fine, I'll chill in the water. You think I'm a chicken? You really don't want to chill with other drowners though, so if you could hurry up and leave. I just want to loot the flippin' drowner that you guys aggravated. Like, I could have taken care of it all by myself, but y'all had to try and get involved. Look what it did for you. So 
what the PD is. Okay, there are guards. I thought that was just a horse walking all by himself. Are you going to attack me? Bro, leave me alone. Come near me. Not deal with you pettiness. What are you? Ah. Start with me. Fun you right now if a wolf's down there attacking you. Tough patootie because you keep trying to freaking eat me. So that sounds like a personal problem. Try and kill a deer. I don't know what will happen. I didn't mean to do that. Uh huh. I really don't care about this. I 
I have to go to crafting. Alchemy. Okay. Uh Beautiful. What oil can I make? Necrophage oil. Beautiful. Inventory. My potions. We'll put that where the bread is. We'll put the bread over here. Beautiful muscle. Oh no. Take potion to Yes. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift for giving a damn.